Oh my god. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jake, and today I'm watching Django Unchained for the very first time. So before I get into anything, I'm going to talk for just a couple seconds about a few things, so if you're just here for the reaction, feel free to skip ahead. Yeah guys, this is the movie you all wanted to watch, you all voted for this. If you guys want to see the full length reaction to this movie, head over to the Patreon. The second tier will give you access to that. And just to keep you guys in the loop of my posting schedule, next weekend will be Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. The full length version of that is already up on my Patreon if you guys want to see that early. And yeah, I'm still doing Game of Thrones every week. I'm getting close to the end of season one for Game of Thrones. Oh, and I want to say thank you guys so much for all your love and support on my Harry Potter reaction. It blew me away. Uh, I did not expect the response that it got. Starting at the beginning of February, I had a goal to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of February. And we smashed that goal with just two days left. So I'm really happy about that, guys. Thank you so much. And you don't have to, but if you guys could, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any reactions from me. And drop a comment. Let me know what other movies you guys recommend. After I do the Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets, I will be doing a different movie. So to pick the next movie, I'll probably take like five uh, recommendations from the comments of this video and put them in a poll, and then you guys can vote on that as well. There's not much else to say, so get comfy, grab some snacks, grab some drinks. And if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's do it. Here we go. Bingo Unchained. Django. Jamie Foxx. Okay. Django. Leonardo. Oh, shit. Awesome. So fucked up. Tarantino always has such incredible music and like like even just the text it's contrasting so well with the background and the color scheme and everything Jeez, how long have they been walking? That was a tune I have to say 1858, oh wow Somewhere in Texas Stumbling around in the dark. I'm simply a fellow weary traveler. Whoa. Was he a dentist? He has a tooth on his thing. I'm looking for a pair of slave traders that go by the name of the Speck Brothers. Might that be you? I'm Dr. King Schultz. This is my horse Fritz. <laughs> now, are you the Speck Brothers? And did you purchase those men at the Greenville slave auction? So what? So I wish to parlay with you. Is there one amongst you who was formerly a resident of the Karukan Plantation? I'm from the Karukan Plantation. Jamie Foxx, right? What's your name? Django. Then you're exactly the one I'm looking for. Hey. Stop talking to him like that. Like what? Like that. He's talking to him normally. I'm simply a customer trying to conduct a transaction. I don't care. No sale. Now off with you. Of course they're for sale. Move it. Are oh, you pointing your weapon at me with lethal intention? I like how that guy talks. Oh, very well. What? Oh my god, he's quick on the draw, but the other guy was already aimed at him. Can't believe he got his sh both his shots off. Wow. So he's probably not a dentist. That iron is nasty business. Oh my god. I'm afraid I will require a bill of sale. Do you have one? You go to hell, dentist. Dentist. <laughs> you could lift that beast off the remaining speck. You could unshackle yourselves, put a bullet in his head, and then make your way to a more enlightened area of this country. <laughs> nice. Now, wait a minute, fellas. Let's talk about this. <laughs> no way. He ain't talking, man. You ain't gonna. You gotta be reasonable in a situation like this. I'm not a bad guy. No, no, please. Oh my god. 
Jesus Christ. The blood in Tarantino movies is like candy. It's just flying around, it's chunky, it's crazy looking. That was an awesome intro to this. Oh, did you see his head go through the, the noose like that? The imagery already in this is crazy. Good morning, innkeeper. Two beers for two weary travelers. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what the hell you think you're doing, boy? Get that out of here. Keeper, remember, get the sheriff, not the marshal. This dentist guy is awesome. What kind of dentist are you? <laughs> Despite that cart, I haven't practiced dentistry in five years. Oh my god, I love that shot. I practice a new profession, bounty hunter. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Oh, that's so satisfying to watch. The bounty hunter is. No. Well, nope. Like slavery, it's a flesh for cash business. We're putting it. It's like a reward. You kill people, <laughs> and they give you a reward. Certain people, yeah. On one hand, I despise slavery. On the other hand, I need your help. If you're not in a position to refuse, all the better. Damn. I would like the two of us to enter into an agreement. I'm looking for the Brittle Brothers. And so far as I don't know what they look like. But you do. Hmm. I know what they look like, all right. You travel with me until we find them. Where are we going? So we visit every plantation in Catlinburg till we find them. You point them out, and I kill them. I agree to give you your freedom. $25 per brittle brother. I wonder how much that is back then. $75. Now, why y'all want to come into my town and start trouble? You ain't got nothing better to do than to come into Bill Sharp's town and show your ass. <laughs> what? He's just killing everybody. Tell me that's not like a another bounty. That gun was sick too. <laughs> no way. Little wrist pistol. Okay, he told him to bring the sheriff originally, so that must have been planned. Like he was planning on doing that. I'm gonna get poor Bill out of goddamn street. You in the saloon? Oh my god. We got a hundred rifles aimed at every way out of that building. You got one chance, get out of this alive. It's like civilians holding him too. Come out right now with your hands over your head, and I mean right now. Just as you have instructed, I am ready to step outside. I shan't be shot down in Chance. the street by either you or your deputies. You mean like you did our sheriff? Shot him down like a dog in the street. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. <laughs> what? This guy's hilarious. Much as we'd all enjoy seeing something like that, ain't nobody gonna cheat the hangman in my town. Like yourself, Marshal, I'm a servant of the court. Man lying dead in the dirt is actually a wanted outlaw by the name of Willard Peck. <laughs> nice. Seems to have worked. In other words, Marshal. You owe me two hundred dollars. <laughs> He's like, I came here, I killed your sheriff. Now pay me. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it's like, how the? F this is so awesome. I had no idea you were a married man. Do most slaves believe in marriage? Me and my wife do. Old man Karugan didn't. That's why we uh we run off. Django, you got sand, Django. I got no use for n with sand. Jesus. I want you to burn the runaway eye right here in his cheek. And the girl too. And sell him separately. Disgusting. 
Your slave wife speaks German and her name is Brunhilde von Schaft. They call me Hildi. This movie's gorgeous. Like, what? You'll be playing a character. And your character is that of the valet. You may choose your character's costume. That's nice. He's gonna let me pick up my own clothes. Yeah, but of course. Wow. <laughs> he got some swag on him. Nice. It's against the law for n to ride horses in this territory. This is my valet. My valet does not walk. My name is Dr. King Schultz. This is my valet, Django. And these are our horses, Tony and Fritz. <laughs> <laughs> I love that horse. Rode from Texas to Tennessee to buy one of my Yeah. No appointment, no nothing. Oh, I'm afraid so. What if I was to say I don't like you? Or your fancy pants. <laughs> what the fuck? Now, what you got to say about that? He's going to kill you. If you are the businessman I've been led to believe you to be, I have 5,000 things I might say that could change your mind. Well, come on inside. Bettina Sugar, could you take Django there and take him around the grounds here and show him all the pretty stuff? As you please, be there. Big Dad. You can't treat him like any of the other n****s around here because he ain't like any of the other n****s around here. You got it? Why don't I should treat him like white folk? No, that's not what I said. Just be nice to him. Like, come on. Is everyone calling him Big Daddy? That's crazy. Gotta be a fetish. What you do for your master? Didn't you hear him tell you I ain't no slaves? You mean you wanna dress like that? <laughs> <laughs> he looks good. Three white men, three brothers, overseers. The name is Brittle. Could you point one of them out to me? Well, one's over in that field. Oh, shit. She, she working the house, John. You can mess her skin up, and you gonna mess her up. She ain't gonna be worth nothing. She ain't gonna be worth a damn thing. Right. It, it, if anybody well, should be getting whooped now, she be me. You know me a long time now. Oh, she's, she's a house slave. She's a house slave. She's a house slave. He's a good guy for doing that, like trying to take it for her. That's on my knees, John. I like the way you bag, boy. Wow. Oh, he's gonna fuck his whole life up. <sighs> oh, I can't wait to see this. Where the other two at? They by the stable, punishing little Jody for breaking eggs. They whipping little Jody? Oh, sweet revenge right here. Come on now. Come on, girlie. Come on. And the Lord said the fear of you. He's got Bible verses stapled to his chest and shit. I guess he thinks he's doing the Lord's work. Oh, he's, he's ready. And after this, we'll see if you break eggs again. John Brill! <laughs> That's so dramatic. I love his outfit so much. <laughs> you remember me? He looks like he's seen a ghost. Hell yeah. I like the way you die, boy. <laughs> he said that he quoted him, dude. Oh my god. Son of a bitch. That was perfect. Yeah. Good luck, bro. Keep going, keep going. Nice. Where are they? It's Big John. That's Little Raj. Where's Ellis? He's the one high telling it across that field right now. Positive? I don't know. I don't know what positive means. It means you're sure? Yes. Yes what? Yes, I'm sure that's Ellis Brittle. Oh, that shot was so nice. Like, what is this movie? It's positive he did. Everybody calm down. We mean no one else any harm. Here, are kids holding guns. In my pocket is a warrant for the arrest and capture of John Brittle, Roger Brittle, and 
Ellis Brittle. You know them by the name of Schaefer, but the butcher's real name was Brittle. He's so good at de-escalating this shit. Get off my land. Post ice. That was the best revenge ever. Oh, I love that. Yeah. That's him sons of bitches. The Jonah Hill? Oh, fuck. Oh shit, what are they gonna do? Someone fall off a horse or was it a horse by itself? Now unless they start shooting first, nobody shoot them. Way too simple for these jokers. And I'm gonna strip and clip that myself. Damn, can't see fucking shit out of this thing. <laughs> we ready or what? Oh, uh, hold on, I'm fucking with my hole. <laughs> uh, I just made it worse. Who made this? Damn shit. Words, <laughs> wife. You make your own goddamn match. Look. <laughs> what? They're not so good at this, are they? What about yeah. you, Robert? Can you see? Not too good. <laughs> I just made mine worse. Anybody bring any extra bags? No, nobody brought an extra bag. Do we have to wear them when we ride? Oh, well, shit fire. If you don't wear them as you ride up, that just defeats the purpose. This is weird. I can't breathe in this thing and I can't ride in this thing. Well, go, y'all. I'm going home. <laughs> wife work all day get 30 bags together for you ungrateful sons of bitches let's not forget why we're here we got a killing over that hill there you gotta make a lesson out of them are the bags on or off i think we all think bags was a nice idea they could have been done better so how about no bags this time yeah, i can't see you can't see so what? All that matters is can the fucking horse see? I hope they all die. Straight up. Get that out from under that wagon. They're not here. They tricked him. Well, where are they? I'll feed us in. Oh, what the f Holy shit. What do you say? Vita's in? What does that mean? Goodbye? Yeah, that guy especially. Would you care to? Oh, shit. Can't see shit out of this. They tried telling you. Big Daddy's getting away. Oh God. I love the kill. The, the deaths in this movie are like done so well. Oh my God. What a shot, too. The kids are natural. <laughs> How you know Broomhilda's first masters was German? Brunilda is a German name. Brunilda is the name of a character. In the most popular of all the German legends. It's a story about Broomhilda? Oh, yes, there is. Do you know it? Well, every German knows that story. Would you like me to tell you? <laughs> she was a daughter of Wotan, god of all gods. Her father is really mad at her. What's she do? <laughs> Can't exactly remember. She, she disobeys him in some way. So he puts her on top of the mountain. Broomhilda's on the mountain? He surrounds her in a circle of hellfire, and there, Brunhilde shall remain. It's like a weird version of Rapunzel. Hero arises brave enough to save her. A fellow named Siegfried. The Siegfried Sable? Quite spectacularly so. And he walks through hellfire because Brunhilde's worth it. There's like a parallel here to him saving her, hopefully, his uh, wife. How do you like the bounty hunting business? Your white folks and they pay you for it? <laughs> it's not the light. <laughs> you work with me through the winter, give you a third of my bounties. And when the snow melts, and we'll find where they sent your wife. Nice. Plus, when a German meets a real life secret, that's kind of a big deal. As a German, I'm obliged to help you on your quest. That's a good partnership right there. Like the pine trees I like the other outfit, but this one's a little bit more uh, practical. Uh, he looks good. Oh my god. This movie is so beautiful. Like, look at this shot. Are you kidding me? Ooh, what happened to Mr. I want to shoot white folks for money? <laughs> I read it aloud. Consider that today's lesson. 
Smitty Bacall and the Smitty Bacall murder and stagecoach rock. That is who Smitty Bacall is. This corpse is worth $70,000. So much. Pussy fucking and shoot him. Good uh, motivational speech there. I think he's good to go. <laughs> so are they splitting the money like half and half? God damn, how is he that good? Didn't he just start learning how to do this? What the hell? That's accurate. Yeah. Oh my god. What the f It's like the best shooter of all time. Oh my god. The blood is so insane in these Tarantino movies. Wow. A very cold and very profitable winter, Django and Dr. Schultz come down from the mountains and head for Mississippi. Nice. Everything about this movie so far is perfect. Like, I haven't seen one thing that I didn't like. Bernadette von Schaft, age 27. He owns the fourth biggest cotton plantation in Mississippi, Candyland. Candyland? We need her and we need a bill of sale. Well, if we ain't gonna try to buy it, how are we gonna get her? May I offer an alternative plan of action? Is this snowing there in Mississippi? How much do you know about Mandingo fighting? Can you convincingly masquerade as someone who's an expert on Mandingo fighting? Wow. Cleopatra Club. Bonjour. Bonsoir, petite femme noire. We're here to see Mr. Calvin Candy. You all want to follow me? Calvin's father and I were about 11 when we went to boarding school together. One could almost say I was raised to be Calvin's lawyer. One could almost say he was a... <laughs> Why do you want to get in the Mandingo business? I'm bored. This seems like a good bit of fun. I've seen that gif or something. You don't wear a hat in the house, white man. Even I know that. <laughs> I love Django. He's great. Come on now! Ah, oh, he's not doing what I told him. For God's sake! You either hit him or you ain't. Oh my God! That looks so real. Are they supposed to go till they die, or do they tap, or what? He take his eyes out? Oh. Jesus. Well, I'll reap a dead she Luigi. So I'm, I wonder how much they bet on this shit. Takita. This guy looks like Clint Eastwood. What's your name? Django. Can you spell it? D J A N G O. The D is silent. <laughs> That's funny. What's your name, boy? His name is Django Freeman. He got up real quick. I've heard tell about you. I heard you've been telling everybody that Mandingos ain't no damn good. Curious. What makes you such a Mandingo expert? Expert. I'm curious what makes you so curious. What'd you say, boy? Calm down, Butch. No offense given. <laughs> I sought you out to purchase a fighting gear at above top dollar market price. If I do business with you, I'm doing business with both y'all. He does the eyeball on you, the billfold. Is that it? Mogi tells me you looked over my African flesh and you was none too impressed, huh? Not the top dollar. Well, then we got nothing more to talk about. Those are the beat ass I want to sell, so. He don't want to buy the n****s you want to sell. 
He wants the nip you don't want to sell. Well, I don't sell the nips I don't want to sell. Makes sense, but... You won't sell your best. You won't even sell your second best. Third best? You don't want to sell them either. But if I made you an offer so ridiculous, you'd be forced to consider. And what do you consider ridiculous? For a truly talented specimen? How much would you say, Django? $12,000. Well, gentlemen, you have my curiosity. But now you have my attention. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice work. You know what I noticed? The acting in this movie is insane. It's so good. Django! Right day, huh, bright boy? Sun is up. Shining on all of us. Have a seat, Doc. He hates Django. The name of the game is keep up, not catch up. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Your guns, you down. Everybody calm down. I saw the whole thing. No harm done. I said no harm done. <laughs> now take your hand off your pistol. I thought the horse was going to be messed up. Oh, I'm going to go walking in the moonlight with you. You want to hold my hand? <laughs> it's weird. Like, Leo keeps calling him boy, but he's attaching bright to it to, like, make it seem like he's almost complimenting him. But, like, he can't just call him something that doesn't have, like, a demeaning word, you know? Is that Rick Ross? I almost thought that was real for a second because they're there where she's at, right? You got a problem with your eyeball, boy? No, sir. You keep your goddamn eyeballs off me. He's really playing the part. So good. Your ass, you keep your goddamn eyeballs off me. He is a rambunctious sword, ain't he? <laughs> may we stop for a moment so I may put a word in my man's ear? You mind telling me what the hell are you doing? I confirmed that Cornelius is at Candyland. Get so carried away with your retribution, you lose sight of why we're here. You think I lost sight of that? Yes, I do. Stop antagonizing Candy. Yeah, I think he's doing fine. $500 and I expect to get five fights running the business here. You fought three fights. The fact remains, I pay $500, I want five goddamn fights. So what about my $500, huh? I'll reimburse you. <laughs> you will? <laughs> you will? No, he won't. He's just tired of you toying with him is all. Matter of fact, so am I. But we ain't paying a penny for that. Ain't got no use for him. Ain't that right, Doc? Seeing as you won't pay a penny for this, you don't mind me handling this any way I see fit. He's your. That Marsha and the bitches send D'Artagnan to heaven. He's trying to prove a point. He's trying to, like, see if they're going to fold. I think the doc uh, kind of screwed up by saying he was going to pay for him because it made him look like kind of sympathetic to them, which instead of being a, wanting to get into the fighting business. Green around the gills for blood sport like fighting. Yeah, see? He just ain't used to seeing a man ripped apart by dogs is all. You all used to it. Mosuk Candy. We rode five hours so you could show off your stock. Let's get to it. As of now, if he's an example, I ain't impressed. He's trying to read him like, who, are you? Yeah, this is getting a little bit close to falling apart. I could tell right when he turned around after the, the doctor said he'd, he'd uh, reimburse him that he just was like, what the hell? Why? Even though he was doing the right thing, it just kind of made them look a little more suspicious. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Oh, it's Samuel. Looks mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, my ass. <laughs> Who this up on that 
Why you so ornery? You miss me? Like a, a baby. <laughs> miss Mammy Titty. <laughs> I ask you, who this n on that nag? It's Snowball. You want to know my name or the name of my horse? You ask me. Django, he is a freeman. This n here? That n <laughs> Django, this is another cheeky black bugger like yourself, Steven. Steven, this here is Django. You two ought to hate each other. <laughs> He's gonna stay in the big house? In the big house! If you ain't got no problem with burning the bed, the sheets, the pillowcase... The <laughs> what? Now, where is my beautiful sister? Yes! The hell? This guy on meth? About that matter, about the little girl we were talking about? Yeah. He spoke German? Ah, oh, yes, Hilda. You could send her around to my room. Oh, bitch, he'll get her cleaned up. It's something I ain't, I ain't told you about yet. What? Uh, Hilda in the hot box. Oh, f she run off again. How bad did some surface dogs tear her up? Uh, Bill and Cody went looking for her and found her, we brought her back. Uh, uh, now, she a little beat up. He's about to go crazy right now. Take her out. Why? Because I said so, that's why. Dr. Schultz is my guest. Southern hospitality dictates I make her available to him. And everyone is playing their part so perfect. Like, what the fuck? Oh my god. How, like, how much is he restraining himself from just going over there and killing everybody and, you know, taking her away? He's so done with all these people. Hello, ladies. Hildy, this is Dr. Schultz. And I shall bring... I'm much obliged. <laughs> yeah, I could tell he didn't like her. Am einige Mühen auf uns genommen, sind viele Meilen geritten, um sie zu finden, mein Freund. Ich habe keine Freunde. Oh, doch, die haben sie. Wenn... Das kann ich Ihnen nicht sagen. Unser gemeinsamer Freund hat einen Hang zum Dramatischen. Oh, she's, she knows. Er steht direkt hinter dieser Tür. Oh, man. Hey, little troublemaker. <laughs> <laughs> silver-tongued devil you <laughs> yeah oh man oh man i was tearing up on that one samson's your best we all know that you will never sell him and i can see why he's a champion <laughs> express the joy i felt conversing in my mother tongue and hildy is a charming conversation companion it looks like this pony's got big eyes for Django. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Naturally, it is a soaring eagle that attracts her attention. Good save. Good save. Oh, who me, bitch? You know who I'm talking about. Oh, f. I don't know him. You don't know him. No. Wow, the way he talks to her compared to Leo is crazy different. Let me re-clarify how this whole negotiation came about. You see, it wasn't me who came to you to sell it. It was you who approached me to buy one. Sure was. Is he wearing mascara? <coughs> Wait, not Monsieur Condé, you have a deal. Eskimo Joe, $12,000. Hooray, Doctor, hooray, <laughs> and a wise decision that is. So say I return in about five days' time. Five days. How are they gonna pull this off? Hilly's got something like four lashes on her back. Lolly just get one, she lose her goddamn mind. Oh, look at that, doctor. It's like a painting. Look at that. Calvin! I know I wanna look at her whipped up back. She has some sense of her. Barely. At least you're motivating Django. Turn the brandies, gentlemen. Even more. I really thought he was about to just start shooting. I mean, he could kill everyone in there easily. At the same time. You said you ain't know him. I don't. Why is you lying to me? <laughs> you stay right here. Oh, he's cluing in on, uh... You'd be willing to part with Hildy. 
Oh, yes. In that case, allow me to propose another proposition. Oh, no. This might be too... F God damn it! Miss you again. Uh, Steven, you just interrupted Dr. Schultz. Mm -hmm. Put me in the lab here. He should have slow rolled this. He, he like went too hard, too fast. Them motherfuckers, they wants that girl. What, Hildy? Yeah, Hildy. Her and Django, them know each other. He just bought Eskimo Joe. Did I... he give you any money? No, not yet, but then they he go. he ain't bought Diddley. But he's just about to buy who he come here to buy when I interrupted him. Thank you, Stephen. You're welcome, Calvin. <laughs> He's sassy as fuck. They doing it cause that Django's in love with Hildy. Is he putting on a character when he's out there? Like he's talking way different. Snake oil pitch about Mandingo's in. You wouldn't pay no never mind to no three hundred dollar. If it had been a snake, it would have bit me. <laughs> Sons of bitches! Oh fuck. We were discussing the possibility of my purchasing Bonilla. Ah, uh, yes. In a moment. Is that you gonna cut some cheese or something? Who is your little friend? He's an old Joe that lived around here for a long time. Three times a week for 50 years, old Ben here would shave my daddy with a straight razor. If I was old Ben, I would have cut my daddy's goddamn throat and it wouldn't have taken me no 50 years to do it neither mm. never did why not skull of the african here the area associated with submissiveness is larger than any human on planet earth what the hell dude you're just making shit up <laughs> disgusting it do that at the table or ever anywhere you'll notice three distinct dimples here here and here i will admit you are pretty clever shoot him i took this hammer here or he does something crazy and i bashed in your skull with it you would have the same three dimples in the same place ah! Ah! lay your palm flat on that tabletop been a lot of lies set around this dinner table here tonight, but that you can't believe. Holy shit. Thank you ever so much. The real blood? Ah, yes. I do believe you were just getting ready to make me a proposition to Bob Boom Hilda. Bring it out, Hildy. Ah! Shut your ass in that gun. Ah! Lay your hand flat on that table. Now, shut your mouth. Y'all have ridden a whole lot of miles. It would appear that Boomhilda is, in fact, the right. Oh, he wants 12 grand for her, probably. The price is $12,000. Y'all think my price for this year is too steep. Oh! At first, I thought that was real blood, but. <laughs> To death with it right in front of both y'all. What's it gonna be, Doc? Huh? Leo's going crazy. He also lost his accent when he was screaming right there. His acting is so good, I can't even believe it. That toy. He has it on him? Gold! <laughs> to the man with the exceptional beard and his unexceptional. It was a pleasure doing business with y'all. I bet it was. We will be serving white cake. The doctor went too fast. He he should have did it under different circumstances where it just didn't seem too like, oh, by the way, he was talking her up too much and there was no time to let things kind of settle out, settle down and marinate, you know? I think they would have had it. This guy looks like a proper henchman from like a video game or something. <laughs> His hat, his little shotgun. Excuse me, ma'am. Could you please stop playing Beethoven? Take your hands off the harp. <laughs> Doc. Doc, you can't go in there. White cake. 
I don't go in for sweets. You brooding about me getting the best of you, huh? Are these Pony Hilda's papers? Yes, they are. That is her, her bill of sale, her ownership history, and of course, her, her freedom papers, Doctor. Something's gonna happen because they're really emphasizing this whole scene. Hilda von Schaft. Consider yourself a free woman. As she should be. Mr. Candy. I would say Auf Wiedersehen. But since what Auf Wiedersehen actually means is till I see you again. Since I never wish to see you again, to you, sir, I say goodbye. <laughs> Perfect. His lines in the show are, or movie are so good. One more moment, Doctor. It's a custom here in the South. Once a business deal is concluded that the two parties shake hands. I'm not from the South. But you are in my house, Doctor. So I'm afraid I must insist. I think you are a bad loser. And I think you're an abysmal winner. You really want me to shake your hand? I insist. If you insist. Oh, shit. I forgot he still had that. Oh, my God. Well, what about the guy with the gun? No! Oh. I couldn't resist. What? No, not the. Oh my God! This guy's it's, he's so good. Sounds like artillery shells are coming in. Just run out the side to shoot him from the. Back or something. Oh my god. Oh my god. How much of this can I put on YouTube? Can I put any of this on YouTube? Dude. This is insane. I love it. <laughs> this is Tarantino, right? Like, this is. If you had to describe a Tarantino movie, it's this scene. Who's that guy aiming at? Sound effects. I can't. Is this the best shootout ever filmed? Oh wow! This now what? Django, what? We got your woman, Billy Crash here. I got his pistol upside her head. He gonna blow our goddamn brains out. Oh, it's moonlight. Fuck. Oh, you can give up, throw your gun out. We won't kill him. Nah, hold it. I give up. There's no way. Like, he's going to get her. This is, uh, I don't know how. I don't know what he could possibly do now that they've got him. But something's going to happen. Has to. I feel like a mother child. Wow, look at the house. It's destroyed. Like I'm telling you, every single aspect of this movie is in, is like a ten out of ten. The set design, the acting, the music, the editing, choreography. God damn it! Bounty hunters, huh? Knew there was something fishy about y'all. Problem pretty good while it lasted, huh? Please, God. Time to say goodnight to them nuts, Black. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Thank God. Oh, and she changed her mind about snipping Django. She gonna give him to the LaQuint Dicky people. Miss Laura, come up with the bright idea of giving your ass to the LaQuint Dicky mining company. There ain't no grave. That terrain looks like a place I used to live, actually. Looks like California. 
I said a white boy. Shut up, Black. You ain't got nothing to say I want to hear. I said, how'd you like to make $11,000? What the fuck are you talking about? Is that Tarantino? The $11,500 fortune waiting for you back at Candyland is in the form of a wanted dead or alive bounty on Smitty Bacall and the Bacall gang. Yesterday, as a free man, I rode into Candyland on a horse with my German white partner. But y'all know I ain't on that manifest. This is so smart. And that 11500 is up for grabs, and the last thing they'd expect is y'all riding back in there and getting it. Is he Candyland slave, or did he ride in? They walked us from the Greenville auction, and he rode in on a horse with a white man. Fuck me, Roy. I mean, this, this could be big, mate. <laughs> it works. Holy shit. You got a deal. Got yourself a deal, Mike. Mike? <laughs> <laughs> you were right for a black fella. Is he just gonna, like, kill these guys? I've just had the Sarge fixed. Let's get the knock. <laughs> Holy shit. He blew up Tarantino. Can this movie get any better? Like, what? Oh my god. Did this win Oscars? Tell me this didn't win an Oscar. I'll be pissed. Throw me up that dynamite. I think they got like some now. <laughs> nice. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> I knew it. How could you not like him after all that? Look at the seat, like he's riding it, no saddle. He's got a rifle in his hand, dynamite. <laughs> this is like, I'm not surprised anymore, but like I am still surprised, you know what I mean? It's me, baby. Just chuck a little stick of dynamite on their path right there. Right in front of them. Y'all gonna be together with Calvin in the by and by. <laughs> so quick on it. Now, where were we? Last time I seen you. You had your hands on my. <laughs> yes, that's perfect. <laughs> Dude. Django! The you Django. black son of a bitch! The D is silent here, baby. The Django. <laughs> all you black folks, Fuck. I suggest you get away from all these white folks. Yeah, seriously. Not you, Steven. You right where you belong. Uh, Cora, before you go, will you tell Miss Laura goodbye? Bye, Miss Laura. What? How did she fly sideways? Oh my god. Steve, how you like my new dud? Is he faking it? He was faking it? I count six shots. I count two guns. <laughs> Every single word that came out of Calvin Candy's mouth was nothing but horse shit. But he was right by one. I am that one ten thousand. You can run, but they gonna find your ass. They ain't gonna just kill you. No way. Ain't no gunfighter. Get all the way so It's over for you, dude. This movie It's like the per it's perfect. This movie's perfect. This is like one of my top favorite movies of all time already. Like 
as of right now, it just became like probably top three. Holy shit. He's the top of the West. Always cool. <laughs> Celebrate a little bit. Get into it. Yeah. How's he do that? <laughs> you know what they're going to call you? The fastest gun in the South. Exactly. How is he? Like, he's literally the fastest. There's no way he's not. Man. He did it. He's the best. Wow. He keeps wow. I have to clap for this. I have to. I have to clap for this. Wow. Bruce Stern. I thought I recognized Bruce Stern. Yeah. Jonah Hill. Yep. Wow. Wow. That was incredible. Like, I usually don't. I feel like I usually don't um, get excited for movies anymore. In today's like newer, that's why I stopped a lot watching a lot of movies because I just didn't like how a lot of movies were being filmed. This is a perfect movie. Wow. How did I put this off for that long? Oh my God. So now I'm thinking the other Tarantino movies must be like just as good, if not better. You know what I mean? Now I'm really excited to watch the other ones. The other ones that were on the list were Inglorious Bastards, Hateful Eight, and Reservoir Dogs. I know Reservoir is more of a classic and I haven't seen it, but the other two that I just named, I'm 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 looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to those. And I will do them. I don't know exactly when. I mean, what's there to say about it? It's pretty straightforward. I mean, I really loved how the story incorporated itself into itself. You know what I mean? With the whole German tale of rescuing the princess whose name was also Broomhilda. That was really cool. That was like very meta of the movie, but it it worked, you know? And yeah, wow. <laughs> it's just that was just incredible. I mean, I'm still at I'm like I'm at a loss for words, honestly. The acting perfect. Yeah, wow. The and the visuals, just the vi everything visually was so appealing to look at, like the colors, the explosions, the edits, the quick cool edits, the the text, everything. Just everything about it. Some of the scenery shots. I do photography, so I really appreciate uh, cinematography and just beautiful shots, you know, in movies. So that's why I take note of those often and, and talk about them when I notice them. I was getting worried for a second when the doctor kind of screwed everything up that it was just going to be like a bad ending kind of movie. But something told me, just hang on, it's going to happen. Like, he's going to get her, you know. Um, and I did tear up actually. There was a scene where I teared up, which I didn't expect at all. Um, when Broomhilda and Django were reunited for the first time, I actually teared up. Like that was a that was a powerful moment because he was like getting choked up behind the door, like covering his mouth to not like I mean maybe cry or make a noise or something. And she was already like basically hyperventilating from being so anxious and ready to see him because she she kind of figured out it was him, right? Yeah, that was awesome. Guys, uh, thank you so much again for voting for that. If you like the reaction, please like the video as well. Uh, it really does help. Subscribe to the channel. Turn notifications on so you don't miss any reactions from me. If you want to see full-length unedited reactions, check out my Patreon. I'm going to be doing Game of Thrones unedited, other movies, Harry Potter, and then obviously in the future I'll be doing more Tarantino movies, other movies as well. I might potentially add an anime. I'm still thinking about that. And it helps support me and helps me make more of these for you guys in a more timely manner. Um, you know, I'm trying to work towards hiring an editor. That would obviously help with that as well. So drop a comment. Let me know something you like, something you didn't like. Uh, your favorite part of the movie. Any cool fun facts about the movie. A lot of you guys have been giving me fun facts about everything. About Game of Thrones, Harry Potter. So keep those coming, even with this movie. And yeah, let me know if there's anything I could do better. I'm always looking to try to improve, so I would appreciate that too. And before I go, I'm going to take just a second to talk about mental health because I think it's really important. So, you know, guys, this, this movie kind of gave me some inspiration towards what I'm about to say, uh, which is find fun things to do and, and keep yourself occupied, but in a way that you enjoy yourself. You know, sometimes it's hard to enjoy yourself, especially when you feel down or depressed or anxious whatever it is, there's always something that can that can bring your spirits up. There's always something that can, you know, make the day a little bit better. And I think it's really important to find things that can do that. 
whether it's something you've done a thousand times or something brand new. I think that we have to pierce through the the thick skin of whatever's on top of us, whatever's holding us down, you know, and we have to be really like vigilant. We can't just let it happen. We have to we have to try. We have to push. And um, you know, this journey of reacting and and posting these for you guys, you know, starting it, I was extremely nervous, extremely anxious, extremely I've been thinking about doing a reaction channel for a long time, okay? And it took me a long time to finally say, you know what, it doesn't matter what people say or what people think. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna be happy, you know, and I'm just gonna do it. Following that energy, it's leading me to more happiness. And so with the spirit of this movie, which was a fun, it was a fun ride, um, I just encourage you guys to find fun things to do and you know, maybe try new things too. find new hobbies, things that you wanted to do, but you weren't really sure about it. It's time to try new things. You know, that's all I can say. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. And I hope to see you on my next reaction. Game of Thrones is coming. Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets is coming. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day, beautiful rest of your night, wherever you're at in the world. Take care.